Do you have LifeX bulbs in your smart home? Would you like a way to control those bulbs with a central console with the rest of your smart home? Well, stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to do this with Home Assistant on Unrate. Welcome to another edition of Tech Bytes with Ron Nutter, your home for all things relating to smart home technology. In this episode, we're going to talk about how to control your LifeX bulbs with Home Assistant on Unrate. Hi, I'm Ron Nutter, and we're going to be working on this together. This content is also available as an Amazon flash briefing or podcast. Please go to techbytes.withronnutter.com for more information. For any items mentioned in this episode, there are affiliate links available. If you click on these links, I will get a small commission, but that won't affect the price you pay for the item. If you want to get notified when new content is uploaded, please click on subscribe and enable notifications. Here's what we're we'll going to be covering in this video, and that's how to control your LifeX bulbs with Home Assistant on Unrate. First, the required items. Then we're going to go through adding LifeX to Home Assistant, and then how to control LifeX with Home Assistant. The required item for this is going to be pretty straightforward. In fact, you've, if you've been watching some of my series, you've already got things pretty well in play. So the first thing is you've got to have Home Assistant already running on Unrate. And if you haven't seen that video, look for it somewhere up in here or up in here and you'll see a link to that video so you can get started with that one to get home assistant up and running make sure that it is started and if you don't have things always starting when you come up then let's go over here to docker then you can have make sure you select auto start and then that will make sure that and whenever you have to reboot unraid then you've got that ready to go then it's just a matter of having some life x bulbs you will need to set the life x bulbs up ahead of time because those have got to be talking to the LifeX cloud, then you'll be ready to go. Well, now to get this ball rolling, at this point, I'm assuming you've already got Unrate up and running, you've got Home Assistant up and running, and you've got your LifeX bolt ready to go. And they've already been configured and you've already been talking to them with your smartphone. That's not working. You got to get that before this next part will begin to come into play. This is a fresh install of Home Assistant. So we'll go down here to configuration and go over here to integration and you'll You'll see LifeX. So we'll just click, and this is what it's discovered. So Home Assistant out of the box is great. And it does a lot of the work for you compared to earlier versions. So we'll click on configure. And yes, we want to set up LifeX. And it has already found the following devices. Now it's going to okay so it's found that device i got more than one device but for some reason it hasn't found it so that's fine we'll click on finish and then what we will do is we want it to show up here on the main page and it's already done now this is the beauty of the lifex integration and at this point you click on the bulb or click on the little slider there and then it will turn on the bulb and you can verify that with your smartphone and we'll go over here and I'm going to bring it up on mine ever so quickly and you should see when you turn it on here then it should change status on your smartphone app now it may take a few seconds to get in play but it will come up at that point and you should be ready to go now once you've got the LifeX integration done and really as, as you've seen it's, it's just a snap and put it together you should see both of your bulbs show up here if not what you can do is go in here to edit dashboard and and then you can select add a card and then go down to a light and then you'll just have to drop do drop down selections to see what's going on that I mean to see what it's looking at and then you just click save and you're done now at a minimum what you should see is this so this is going to be the easy way to deal with things so you just click it it turns off turns on and then you can change the brightness to here now let's click on edit and this gets you into more of the details and if you really want to get into the code then there's the configuration that you can start playing with but I don't suggest that at this point and if you have a second bulb or you want to have different options for it then you can click on duplicate card and you see where it's going so we'll just close this out and it's just a matter of clicking it back and forth now if you click on the little three dots you get a little bit different picture of what's going on you still can turn it off from there you've got your brightness control and if it's one of the color bulbs then you're going to have an ability to change the color temperature you can change the color so there's there's quite a bit you can do and if you want to go down here to effect you can really get under the hood and if you want to see what's been going on with that bulb then you can go into history and see when it's been going on and off that is at least a way where now you've got instead of having to go to the LifeX app and turn something on and switch to another app this you're going to start seeing a pattern in future videos where we're going to start giving you a central console when you're setting up that new account for the smart home cloud service or device please get a copy of my smart home device account checklist you see here on the screen this will help make sure that everything gets 
written down that you entered to get that account created. The form will also serve as a backup copy when you get this entered into your password manager app. And if you're not already using a password manager app, please get one now and get started. You will be subscribed to my email list in exchange for the checklist. I won't share, rent, or sell your information to anyone. Now, once you've got your life expos up and running, there's some other things that you need to go through to, it kind of helps with troubleshooting. First, we'll go into configuration. We'll go back to integrations. So you're gonna do a lot here. And you see it's already found two bulbs. But what we'll go through here and go into system options. And there's two options here you need to look at. Whenever you add a LifeX bulb, you want to have this option selected if you want it to have it automatically show up in Home Assist. And then you can have it also enable polling so that if there's an update for LifeX that comes out, you want to know about it and probably you want to get it applied. Although I generally don't apply updates the day they come out. And this way you can use this still. I mean, you're going to hear me harping a lot about a centralized console. So this is going to help you get it to that point to where you don't have to go through every app you got for every device. Now you can see we've got two here so far. And if we click on chair, now it shows you the version of firmware. Again, this is the beauty of Home Assistant. If you want to get into automations, then you can see, okay, if the chair light is turned on, then we can have a domino effect for something else to happen or only do something if the chair is on and when something is triggered then we can go from there and really start to get under the hood well we've gotten to where we've got a LifeX bulb installed and up and running and we've walked through how to raise and lower the brightness change the color temperature if it's a color bulb as you can see there's so much more that you have to do but especially if you're new to home assistant and or LifeX or both get used to working with just the basic bulb because then you can really get under the hood and add it to scenes do custom configurations the the sky's the limit but as with anything like this start with the simple process first get used to that because if you start adding a lot whole at once if you start adding a whole lot at once and something breaks then you're going to have the challenge of figuring out where it broke and went so do it incrementally and then you'll be very happy with the results you've gotten you really learn how to make this do what you want it to do if you're watching this on youtube you will see videos on the screen that are similar to the one you've just watched or other content that youtube thinks you might be interested in if this video helps you or provides value please click on that like button thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please click on subscribe now and enable notifications We'll see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.